Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about selection in query processing. As we know that query processing obviously involves some selection to the most in the case. So we should know about the selection in each of the department of first is the file scanning and linear progression. Next is the selection in comparison. And third is the selection in complex operation like conjunction, disjunction and negation. So we will discuss about all the cases individually and elaboratively. Now the query processing means we are actually evaluating a query on a data from the database relation to get a desired output or a part of this relation. Now, when we are actually fetching a part of the relation, it can be of the two types, projection and selection. Other than that, it could be the same relation on the query. So we are more here concerned with the selection. When we are selecting some predefined predicates over a relation, that means the selection condition that we are talking about can be of three different types. First, we will talk about the selection in this file scanning and progression. So we will define each of this selection as in capital attribute A and followed by the I that is A1 to A2, A3 like AN. So first we will talk about A1 that is in linear search. Now the first one is linear search. So in the linear search, as we know that we start from the beginning of a particular file, then scanning starting it. Now when we start to scan the file, that means we are scanning each of these inputs into the memory from the disk. So this requires a number of blocks that is exactly the number of blocks same to the data that is being contained to this file. Now when the file is being scanned using the linear search, then we will scan the file until and unless the selection predicate has been matched or not. So this linear search provides that linearly we can move through the data. Now if the selection predicate doesn't match, that is the worst case of this linear search, then we will result in a total tuple on this view or the scanning and not even get a desired output on that. Now the best result of the first predicate that we are using gets the first tuple of that relation as its matched result. Now whenever there is a match to the result, the linear search stops because it is searching for a single condition and if that condition matches then it will stop the data and then scan this data from the disk to the memory. So this type of file scanning is more popular where we can say that we have organized an B plus index tree and then the height of the tree is greater. So if the height of the tree is greater, then we can have this linear search go smoothly because we are already following a hierarchy. So if it is from the children node that the disks are storing, then we can say that we can easily find the next parent node and post the toth to this auspicious root node. Now when we are talk about this root node, then we can say that the root node is consisting the most higher operation or the exact final operation that is being done in this query. Now the linear search selection provides us the cost of having the blocks as well the first tuple as the transfer. So it will transfer the tuple of this first block that is it is rectifying as its selection matching condition and then provide the blocks to the transfer it to the main memory. Now it requires that one initial sec that is TS and then we can have the block on these files that is BR with the tuples TT to store in it. So the tuples in files that is TT and we can have the blocks as BR. So that the initial seek is this TS that is made for the first scan and then it will go to the tuple in the file TT into this block number because there can be more than one tuple that belongs to the block which the index is showing. Now when we talk about in B plus 3 of this index files, then we can say that the index scan is there on this linear search. 
So now we are searching on this index, not the scanning on the file directly on the value. So first we need to scan the index and according to the index, the pointer will get to the value. So the index to the pointer, this one is known as an access path because the access path give us to the value accessing and locating inside the directory on the structure. So this way the linear path simplifies with an initial seek plus the block transfer into the tuples in the relation. So the linear search has an another case where it is matched with an equality on the primary index. Now if we are scanning the linear search with an equality key, that means that say we are finding that city equals to Mumbai. So when we reach a city equals to Mumbai, then initially it will stop the scanning and then get the desired output from there. So that now in my linear search, the block transfer will have only the half of the cases because we can consider in the first half or in the second half, we can find the equality on the key. So there is at most one record that satisfies the selection and we can have only that record as a desired output of the query. So now the initial seek will be there. So my TS will be there. And now we can have this BR by two because we are actually accessing half of the blocks, not all the blocks. Now, if it is the words case, that means we can have all these blocks to be transferred and checked that if it is the selection that is made on that particular equality. Say for we have the values like Kolkata, Delhi, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, and then Hyderabad, finally Mumbai. So when the predicate is on city Mumbai, then we have to search all the beer number of blocks to transfer the data on the tuple that is storing the city equals to Mumbai. So in this way, the words case will suggest for beer and there will be only one record to our output. Now say if the primary index we are searching on with an equality key. Now we need that in the binary P plus tree key, that means the indexing on the primary basis. So the primary key will be the index key to that particular B plus index file. And now the next one is my matching on this equality key. So when we are having these two conditions happen to each other, that is the primary key and also the equality key. So first we need to build on the primary key indexing. Now it needs one more time another plus that is because of the height on this primary key and also the T index that it is following. So now we have HI plus one where HI is the height of this B plus three. And also we can have the plus one because there is one more sick to the initial sick on this B plus three index files. See, we are not adding TS here directly. We will add it, but according to each on the index. So when you are having the linear search, it is directly on the file scans. So we do not need to produce that the indexing is there or not. Now we have a primary B plus three index key. So there is every root node or the root node and the parent node until and unless we are reaching the leaf nodes. So in this way, we can have that for every node, there is an initial seek, and after that, there will be a seek for the number of tuples inside that height. Now the level defines here the block. So we are not considering more about the blocks when we are taking this B plus three index files as consideration. Because now we are not taking the block structure, but a tree and hierarchical structure to store our data. So here we can have the HI into TR plus TS, that is the relation to the R and S tuples, and plus one into TR plus TS, that is for the IOFH. So we need extra and IOFH here because the indexing is an in level of this indirection that we can provide within primary B plus three index files. Now we will see that what happens if there is a non-comparison key on this one. Now when we are talking about a non-equality key, 
on an primary index files. So what do you mean by this? Non-equality key supports the word for non-equal. That means it's not equal to the value. So when we are searching an index on a non-equality key, so if I this city not equals to Mumbai, then it supports for Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad and all the cities that we are looking for. So for each level on this index key, we have one level added to the six on that particular post. So when we are adding for each level a six to it, because there will be a non-equality on each of the level other than the level that it's finding for the key equal. So we need that for each of the height on the tree, there is one level for this six and this tier from the relation and also the block that is on the leaf node. Now why we are considering blocks on this non-equality key? Because now we are not considering only one record but we are having a non-equality so we can have more than one records. So in our tree-like structure all the leaf node or the children node are having more than one key. That means that the children node are having blocks which can have tuples in it in which there will be a non-equality key. Now let us examine this one very carefully. That when we are talking about city not equals to Mumbai, so it can go for city equals to Kolkata, city equals to Delhi, and there can be many tuples that is related to city equals to Kolkata and also city equals to Delhi or Hyderabad. So for each city, we, it is better to use that a block to it. So when we are having each block and the tuples recorded to it as a result of the non-equality on this index key that is also a primary index key so now my index is built on the primary index but the searching is based on this non-equality key so for every height we will the need of seek the tr plus tt that is we already have described that the tuple from the relation and also the tuple from that block so now we need See here we are needing tr plus tt. Why? Because we need an initial sick tr with the tuples tt to get on each level on the non-equality. Also we will need this tt because there is an tuple that is containing the records. Now the blocks that are considered to be in the lift node and for each of this block we need the each of the tuple that matches with this index non-equality. So here we can say that tr is the first look up and bear into tt suggest for each record on non-equality. So now we have derived till the primary b plus 3 on non-equality key. Now what happens when we talk about a secondary index? We have already seen in the b plus 3 index files that there can be a primary index and as well as a secondary index. Well, the secondary index points to the primary index, which in turn points to the values in the relation. Now we will talk about the secondary index in each of this case. Now when we talk about the secondary index, there can be two cases. First is this equality key and second is this non-equality key. So when we are talking about an equality key, that means the secondary index has been matched with some primary indexes. So now we need to see that what is in secondary index and how it matters that it points to the primary index. See the secondary index can have the values or a group of values which in turn turns to the primary index and then it points to the value. Say for the secondary index is a salary and the primary index is the ID of an instructor. So the secondary index can have the groups of 5,000, that is from 5,000 to 10,000, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, like this. And belonging to this range, there can be a primary index on the ID, which in turn set the pointers to the actual values in the instructor relation. Now when we match an equality key on the secondary index, as the secondary index belongs to some range. So when we talk about an equality key, that means it can be equal to any of the keys that can refer to more than one tuples in the primary index. So now what will happen, say I want to fetch the details of salary who has got 7,000. So now 7,000 belongs to a group of 
5,000 to 10,000. So now we can have all the result from 5,000 to 10,000 as an equality matching because now the secondary index will fetch from the 5,000 to 10,000 and see that which belongs to the group. So now it will point to the IDs on the 5,000 to 10,000. And from there, we can drive on the primary index that which exactly matches the 7,000 and it will fetch only one record. So secondary index on equality key, the cost is same like having the primary index on equality key because the secondary index will only in turn points to the primary index that will actually select the value for the relation. So it is also like the primary index that we are having that is one initial sig and then TR for each IHI plus one for I of H. So there are three phases to it, initial sig, the HI and also the I of H. Now we will talk about the secondary index on this B plus three also with an equality on non-key. Now the secondary index based on equality on non-key. So if the same problem that we have described that the salary and the secondary index and the primary index being the ID of that field. So now we are having that each of the key that is on the secondary index has been matched with a non-equality value with the key. So if it is say that the 5,000 to 10,000 were a non-equality, then it will refer to all the ranges on the secondary index that happens to match with every values in the corresponding records. So it will just eliminate the record for 5,000 to 10,000. Now it will go for any values that we can say that it is not belonging to the secondary index to 50 to 55,000 range. Now the all 40 to 45,000 then other ranges are we can accommodate within this secondary index. So now in turn the secondary index turns to the primary index which will match the value to the relation. So not only we are reaching that one IOH for this primary index, now we will reach that for n blocks that the record can belong to any of the blocks because we are referring on a non-equality key. So it can now refer to any of the blocks that it is belonging to, referring to that each of the block can have the tuples from it. So now my secondary index will be same as the primary index on a non-equality key, but with along this HI another N as the number of blocks associated to it, not only one block associated to it. So now we can have so here that is N blocks record can be stored in any of them. So now we need to consider all of the blocks for our consideration on the cost. We are having on the comparison. So till now we are knowing that all the values that we are considering on that file scanning on a linear search basis. Now on this equality key that we have talked about, we will now transfer it to a comparison. So now we will have about all the algorithms that is referring to some comparisons either on the primary key or on the secondary key. Now the comparison supports for a range of data or a range of record that we can fetch from a relation. So the also non-equality key can give us the range of records but the comparison supports for a positive result for a positive matching on a compared result. So now there can be two types of data within this comparison. The first one is the primary index comparison. Now the primary index comparison supports for that there can be a positive comparison that is on a greater than side or on a less than side or an equals to side. Now the equals to doesn't support for the comparison because it is already I have discussed in the equality key. Now we are more concerned with greater than, lesser than, greater than equals to, lesser than equals to. Now we will divide this with the greater than, greater than equals to and lesser than, lesser than equals to. Now say we are having a value V. So if we have the comparison that is A greater than V or A is greater than equals to V. Now for this indexing, we need on this primary index, we search for a linear one until and unless we find a V for this one. Say suppose that we are wanting that the salary which is greater than equals to 60,000. 
So as the primary index is built on this key, then we need to search for all values until and unless we are finding a salary that is equals to 60,000. So we need to first select A equals to V on A1, that is on the linear search. Now until and unless we are finding this A equals to V, we have the cost of A1 that is associated to it. Now after finding the A1 as this A equals to V, we can have all the values greater than to it for the first one or the value inclusive of the equals to V at the second one. So now my salary that is belonging to the greater than comparison needs the sick cost for this linear search till we are finding the A equals to V and after that we can have all the values that is greater than to it. Now what happens with the less than one? Now in the less than equals to V or less than V supports for we can start from the initial seek because the less than supports that there is no predefined condition less than 45,000. So if the first one is 30,000 then we will just add it to our query 35,000 add it 50,000 skip it 40,000 add it. So from the first query there is no need to reach a particular condition just starts checking that the query or the particular index is being lesser than or this equals to on that particular value that we provide on the index. So now we have for two cost, one is a greater than comparison and one is a lesser than comparison. But for the cost on the primary index on comparison, we just combine it this two. Considering the comparison for this linear search, also the equality comparison and also the greater than and lesser than comparison. That is for this one we can find the cost to finding this A equals to V and after that for each block that is having the result of greater than or lesser than comparison record we need the blocks that will have on this T on the particular tuple. Now what happens when we find this one as a secondary index comparison? Now the secondary B plus 3 comparison go for all like this greater than, less than, greater than equals to and less than equals to in the same way for the primary index without being searching for a particular index in this case. Now we can see that it will be same as the primary index because now we need to find a compare result on the secondary index that is for the linear search till this equals to V and if it is the greater than V and other than if it is less than comparison then we can directly search it from the first one. Now after finding the comparison result on the secondary index key which we in turn points to this primary index key. So now either we can have the pointers to the secondary index key to the primary index or other than that in some of the cases in nowadays it stores on the secondary index directly the value of the primary index so that it lists only one level of indirection other than this two level of indirection. So from the primary index value that is stored inside the secondary index we can directly fetch the result on the relation. So my cost will be lesser than the previous cost and it will cost around. See as now every block can have the record that is matched with the compared record because it is on the secondary index. So we need to include the number of blocks that is n. So now we can refer to the number of blocks on which the record can belong to the compared result. So say some of the groups are belonging to the primary index but based on the secondary index comparison it can belong to different types of block. So now we can have the comparison and the equality search on the file scans on selection. Now what happens if the selection is based on a complex operation? The complex operation means that the selection is based on two or more different predicates. So now we can have three types of complex operation. One is the conjunction, second is the disjunction, and third is the negation. Now how does a conjunction stands for? It is standing for a selection based on say theta one, theta two, theta n on a relation R. Now when this type of conjunctive selection is happening then there can be two cases one is if it is happening on this one index. 
Now one index means there is only one key that is associated with the index and then we can have a more predicates on a, that particular indexing. So now there is no need to search for a linear one to the file scanning because there is only one index that we have already specified. So we can have the cost of this type of conjunction on the selection on the one index because we can have, if we have chosen from A2 to A6, any of these algorithms, then we will have the result as this conjunction. Or we can even add A7 and A8 to it as the comparison on a primary and secondary index. So the primary and secondary index can also be there but only one is the index, that is the one attribute is associated with the index. Now what happens, it can be performed like selection of theta 1 of r, conjunction selection of theta 2 of r. Now each of the cost will be evaluated to it and then it will be added to the final conjunctive selection. Now what happens if there is a conjunctive selection with an composite attribute or a composite index? The composite index stands for that there are two or more attributes that has been calculated for the indexing. Now when the index is calculated on two or more attributes then there will be a primary consideration and next the ordering will be based on the first attribute, then the second attribute, then the third attribute. So now there should be an equality key and also the equality key on the primary and the secondary index. So we can have the A2, A4 and A6 as the algorithms to define the conjunctive selection on the multiple attributes or a composite index. So it goes on same for this selection method on the conjunction but only with this intersection or the composite index selection that can be the cost of A2, A4 and A6 depending on the algorithm that the user is choosing. Now what happens when we select on a conjunctive selection based on an intersection of the identifiers? That means first the identifiers are intersected then only the common value is taken for the selection and then only we can have the selection made on this query. That means, say suppose first we are having the conditions on a composite attributes on the index like the city equals to Mumbai, salary greater than 50,000 and department equals to physics. So now we will have the intersections of the identifiers. That means we will have three columns with the city, salary and the department and have the common values to it. That means if these three of the columns matches with the tuples, then we will take care of the tuples as our conjunction and then perform the selection on the conjunction. Now we need to check that which of the values belongs to all this one, not a single to the this one. So as this conjunction on the selection, there will be an individual scan for each of the index on this identifiers and then all the summation of the index scans, it can be used on this equality, non-equality or any other comparison methods, either the primary or the secondary index, it doesn't matter. So now the intersection of identifiers need that first we need to intersect among this theta 1, theta 2, theta n just like and the cost will be the summation of any of this individual. Now when we talk about this index scans on the sums that we can have as a result of the intersection of identifiers on the conjunction, then also Queen can have the disjunctive operation. Now what we mean about disjunctive selection, that is the union of the predicates. Now if access paths are available from each of the root node on the index to the actual values in the relation either through the primary index or through the secondary index then we can find the disjunctive selection or the union of the identifiers very easily. Now my selection stands for that is a selection of the disjunction. So now we can achieve this disjunctive selection, we can have the union of all these predicates. Say so suppose again for our consideration that city equals to Mumbai, salary equals to 50,000 and department equals to music. So now we will have these three columns, all the values that is at least one value matching with these columns and the other values will be a combination of the other attributes. Say so suppose if the city equals to Mumbai, so we can have all the departments and the salaries associated to it. 
now next the department equals to music all the cities and salaries associated to it and finally if the salary is greater than 50000 then all the attributes that is associated to it so it will have the theta 1 union theta 2 union theta n and in this way you could find the cost so again for this one it will need the individual scans on these predicates and then can have all the predicates marching to it as a summation so it will take the summation of not the individual scans but the union of all the scans so it will use the equality and the non-equality key both so now it will have the summation of all the hi into n plus this tr into ts so now it will have the summation of the number of blocks that can hold any of the predicates in any of the records in it and the final one is the negation on the selection the selection on negation stands for that if there is a selection based on a negative on a predicate that means it is more like the non-equality key so the non-equality key as already we have described then it will result desired on this particular relation based on a match then it will set that all the non-matching conditions for it so again it will lead us to the hi plus n into tr plus ts number of cost because it will goes for the non-equality on the secondary as well as in the primary index so that is all for the selection on this query processing in the file scans to the comparison and finally the complex operations thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikira and subscribe to ikira